In this video, I'm going to show you different formulas to calculate B2. If you recall, while we were solving for B2 using the method of OLS, we got B2 equal to summation small yi capital XI divided by summation small xi capital XI. And then I showed you that we can write summation small yi capital XI as summation small yi small xi and we can write the denominator which is summation small xi capital xi as summation small xi multiplied by small xi and this is equal to summation small xi square. So this is what I showed you in one of my earlier lectures. Now note that this is just one version of formula to calculate B2. I can write other versions as well. So for example, what I can do is I can write one more version by replacing the numerator with this particular expression and I can keep the denominator same. So I can write the formula to calculate B2 could also be summation small yi multiplied by small xi divided by summation small xi multiplied by capital xi. So while going from this version to this version, what I've done is I've changed the numerator and I've kept the denominator same. Similarly, I can write other versions of the formula as well. So for example, from this formula, I can go to one more formula and in that formula, I can keep the numerator same. So the numerator is summation small yi multiplied by capital XI and I can change the expression for the denominator. In denominator, I can write summation small xi square. So while going from this formula to this formula, I changed the expression for the numerator and I kept the expression for the denominator same. While going from this formula to this formula, I changed the expression for the denominator and I kept the expression for the numerator same. Now I can write one more version of this formula and in that version, I can change the expressions for both the numerator and the denominator. So I can write the fourth version could be summation small yi small xi divided by summation small xi square. So this is another version of the formula to calculate B2 and actually this is the one that is used often. So this was basic stuff till now, right? Let's proceed further and let's learn something new now. So have a look at this expression that we have here. So according to this expression, summation small yi multiplied by capital XI is equal to summation small yi multiplied by small xi. So observe what we are doing here. So if you look at the left hand side, we are multiplying two variables and those two variables are small yi and capital xi. So out of the two variables that we are multiplying, one variable is written in deviation form. That is one variable is a small case letter. And in this case, that is the variable y. So the variable y is in deviation form and the variable x is not in deviation form. So we have one small letter here, which is small yi and one capital letter here, which is capital xi. And then I showed you in one of my earlier lectures that if you have a situation like this, you can replace capital XI with small XI, right? So this is what we discussed in one of the earlier lectures. However, if I use the same logic, don't you think that I can write summation small XI multiplied by capital YI as summation small XI small YI. I think according to the logic that I have explained to you, we can write this as well. Because see what's happening here, on the left hand side, I have one variable that is in the deviation form. And in this case, that variable is the variable x because we have small xi. And the second variable that we have is not in the deviation form. It is a capital letter and that is capital YI. And using the same logic, we can replace capital YI with small yi. So that means we can write it in this manner as well. And as you know that summation small xi multiplied by small yi is nothing but summation small yi multiplied by small xi. Well, this is common sense. It does not matter in what order I write x and y. These are one and the same thing. Okay. So this is the new thing that I have claimed now. And let's see this thing mathematically as well so that you could get comfortable with this claim. So the new claim that I have made is summation small xi multiplied by capital yi is equal to summation small xi multiplied by small yi. So let's now prove this claim and to prove this claim, let's start with the left hand side. 
सो ऑन दी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी हैव समेशन स्मॉल एक्स आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाई कैपिटल वाई आई नाउ वी नो दी वे वी हैव डिफाइन दी नोटेशन वी कैन राइट स्मॉल वाई आई इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल वाई आई माइनस वाई बार दैट मीन्स कैपिटल वाई आई इज इक्वल टू दिस इज कैपिटल वाई आई दिस इज इक्वल टू स्मॉल वाई आई प्लस वाई बार दैट मीन्स इन सेट ऑफ कैपिटल वाई आई हेयर आई कैन राइट दैट दिस इज इक्वल टू समेशन स्मॉल एक्स आई एंड इन सेट ऑफ कैपिटल वाई आई आई कैन राइट स्मॉल वाई आई प्लस वाई बार एंड दिस बिकम्स समेशन स्मॉल एक्स आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाय स्मॉल वाई आई प्लस वाई बार मल्टीप्लाइड बाय समेशन स्मॉल एक्स आई एंड एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड दिस समेशन स्मॉल एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दिस इज बिकॉज द सम ऑफ डिविएशन फ्रॉम मीन इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दैट मीन्स दिस सेकेंड टर्म विल वैनिश एंड वी विल गेट दैट दिस इज इक्वल टू समेशन स्मॉल एक्स आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाय स्मॉल वाई आई एंड दिस इज द क्लेम दैट वी वॉन्टेड टू शो ओके सो नाउ you knew this earlier so equation number 1 is something that i discussed in one of my earlier lectures and now i have also shown you equation number 2 that this is true now if we combine equation number 1 and equation number 2 i can write that summation small y i multiplied by capital x i is equal to summation small y i multiplied by small x i so this is what we discussed in one of my earlier lectures and using common sense i can write that this is equal to summation small x i multiplied by small y i so these two are one and the same thing and in this lecture i have shown you that this is equal to summation small x i multiplied by capital y i so these four are one and the same thing so now because these four expressions are one and the same thing that means i can write some more versions of the formulas to calculate b2 So the last version of the formula that we wrote to calculate b2 was this. So we wrote that b2 was equal to summation small x i multiplied by small y i divided by summation small x i square. Now I can write that this is also equal to summation small x i multiplied by capital y i divided by summation small x i square. so the thing is that in the numerator you can use any of these four expressions these four expressions are one and the same thing and in the denominator you can use any of these two expressions so summation small xi multiplied by capital xi this is equal to summation small xi square so in the denominator you can use any of these two expressions and in the numerator you can use any of these four expressions so that means you can have eight different ways of writing the same formula so for example the first formula could be that you work with this numerator and you work with this denominator the second formula could be that you work with this numerator and you work with this denominator and so on so in total you have eight versions of writing the same formula and you know what this is not it we do have some other formulas as well to calculate the value of b2 and i'm going to discuss those formulas in my next lecture